What's up guys, Mike here. So some of you know this market has been on an insane thriller ride right now. Some weeks it's just going down and other weeks it is just going way up. We still have unemployment going up through the roof, reaching up to now 22 million people applying for unemployment as of now. Companies are still not making any money. They're burning through their cash revenues and cash reserves, and they're still letting go of some of their employees as well at the same time. Nobody is making money. People are just losing and spending money that they do not even have. I can't imagine how much in debt they're gonna be on their credit cards when all of this is over, and how long it's gonna take the American people to pay off their debts to their credit cards because it is gonna go through the roof. I just really hope people are not maxing out their credit cards at this time because that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make because going in debt to your credit card is gonna be one of the worst financial decisions you'll be making because you'll be paying these credit card companies for several years to come at about an interest rate of 20%. Even the stock market doesn't even make you 20% return and their credit cards are going to be charging you 20% in interest. So please do whatever you can to stay away from maxing out your credit cards and paying the credit card companies 20% in interest, okay? Only spend money on your credit card that you have in your bank account that you were already going to spend or use anyways. Do not spend money you do not have because it's gonna cost you several thousand times more money just to pay that debt off. So please watch out for that. I know it's a hard time, but make sure you make the best financial decision for your life at the same time as well. Anyways, I'm sure by now you all have heard that Gilead Sciences have stated that their drug Remdesivir is working wonders and is treating patients even in the most severe conditions and people are going home under like about two weeks. So hopefully this is some good news for this disease, this virus that YouTube does not allow me to mention and I hope Gilead their drug goes through because I know China has been using Remdesivir for the past month. I don't know why US is so behind China, but anyways, this, it's all Chinese virus anyway, so that's how they're ahead, but I'm hoping this virus goes away very soon and Gilead Science Remdesivir drug is going to help out and make a huge difference because it has caused the market to surge up on Thursday after hours at an insane rate. like. It just jumped like crazy. Every single stock could like jump like at an insane rate just because Gilead Sciences said, oh, our drug Remdesivir is working wonders even on people who are in worse conditions and they're going home in about two weeks. So make sure you look into that. That is a drug that's been on the market for a very, very long time. I As a pharmacist, I can tell you that's been used for HIV treatment. It's not approved in the U.S. at all. Only China and, U and Europe has been using this drug to use for HIV virus. So just know there is a drug out there that has been used for a very long time besides hydroxychloroquine. This is another drug that's been on the market for several years, but the U.S. has not approved it at all for HIV because it does have a lot of toxicity, side effects that you do not want to have even if you're an HIV patient. There's so many better options out there. So hopefully there is some wonders that are going to come to treat this virus with a less toxicity dose and with less side effects. So what does this mean to me? How do I interpret it? And what? how can you look at it and interpret it in your own means and, and explanation? I'm going to go be, go over it in this video and I'm going to tell you what stocks that I will be buying today that I think you should look into as well. First, sometimes people get really over hopeful about something new that comes up like a new discovery or a new drug is being used. And, Things are going great and somehow the market thinks, okay, this is great news and it starts skyrocketing upwards. But I'm going to be telling you up forward, just because some company announces a new drug or a new thing that's being used to help treat patients, it doesn't mean it is going to be used in the future. So please don't rely on one company's words to go and, and splurge all your money into the market right now because 
that's not the best and most effective way to get into the stock market. The issue here is that Gilead is still testing this drug. It's not like it's overnight going to be FDA approved to treat this virus or get full speed approval. The thing is, it's going to take a few months, if not at least a year to get this approval for the treatment for this virus. So please don't get overhyped because some company said something about a drug that it's working because it might not even be working at all. So don't get over hopeful and splurge all your money into the market just because of some one single company saying, here's good news because we've already heard several times, several good news and nothing has gone up from there. A lot of vaccine companies, a lot of companies, sorry, has been saying, oh, we're working on a, a vaccine and then the market explodes for no reason because you, it takes at least a year or two to get approval for that drug. As a pharmacist, I'm telling you from experience, it takes a minimum of a year or two to get any kind of approval for a vaccine to be used on people. Because it's not like, oh, as soon as somebody says this vaccine is working, they're going to be like p pumping it into people. No way. It doesn't work that way. It takes a long process. Yes, there's going to be some speedy FDA approvals done 100%. Even Trump, excuse me, even the Trump administration is doing whatever they can to speed up the process. But it's not likely to be approved overnight or in a few months. It's going to take at least a minimum of a year for any vaccine and at least several months for any medication drug to be approved to treat this disease. So please just make sure you do your research Use some logical sense before you just pump all your money into the market. And then next week you see, oh my gosh, the whole market just skyrocketed downwards, you know, because that will happen and you will lose a lot of money. Long term, of course, this does not affect anybody for pumping in all their money at once. But people who believe in making quick buck or short term, it's going to cost you several thousand dollars more than you would have ever made if you would have just invested long term. Second, this disease is not getting better, okay? If anything, it's only getting worse. People are still, unfortunately, passing away. People are still getting sick. It's just still spreading from one person to another because people aren't using the proper techniques to be safe. And also, people are still unemployed. So the market has really no huge reason to improve so fast at such a dramatic rate especially since it's going to take several months for a drug to get any approval to be used however there is some good news to look forward to because the trump has announced that he will be opening some states in some areas for back for a business so the economy there will go up there so there is a little good news for the market to go up but not that much it's not like the whole nation is opening up it's only specific states that haven't been affected as much and i think that's still a bad idea even though long term the it's gonna be a, a huge risk huge reward if it does do well but it's much more better to keep the whole place shut down and not have a lot of economic economy work going on because if you open up one location that wasn't uh, hasn't been affected next thing you know everyone's getting sick there now too okay so stop opening up areas just because they're not affected doesn't mean they won't be affected they could also be affected just as quickly as everywhere else because they're the only one country or state that's being productive right now so please even though trump is trying to open up some states make sure you stay safe make sure you keep your eyes on a sharp look at the market because because of some states go opening up does not mean the rest of the country is safe okay some states weren't affected as much yes that's true and maybe they should be going back to work maybe but usually that's a bad idea to open up certain states that haven't been affected because now they're being at a high risk chance of being affected now you're just exploding that area with more disease more people are just getting pumped into there now the disease is getting pumped into that specific state that was doing well they were doing perfectly well they were healthy but now thanks to opening up that state just to make sure the economy continues so it doesn't get destroyed that bad it's also a bad idea because now you're just spreading the disease there and then you're going to shut it down again so make sure you guys look out for that don't spend all your money in one place 
invest consistently if you are going to be investing that's usually the key to always consistently invest no matter what whether the market is up or down invest consistently i usually like to invest on red days when a stock is in red is down is producing negativity that's usually a good sign to me i love when the market is red i hate it when it's green when it's green i don't invest it's bad it's a bad sign to me i only invest in red days and not green days so make sure when you do invest you invest during red days because that means the next day is going to be green day for you so if you're going to be investing short term the next day you're likely to get some positive money out of it right now it's red day best time to invest because tomorrow's green day you get to go sell that stock and make some profit off of it all right, so I'm going to go over and further in this video to tell you the two stocks that I really am interested in buying right now because they are going to explode over time and their value of this company are, is going to be dramatically moving upward. They're going to be worth a lot and I'm going to go over it and then I'm going to tell you exactly why I think I have this company is going to be worth a lot and why I think you should invest, why I'm going to invest and if you you just decide how much you want to invest and make sure you always do your own research that's the disclaimer always do your own research don't go based off some guy on youtube and then say oh because he told me to i did it that's not always the best reason just make sure you always do your own research before you take anyone's words anyway so at this point in time i have accepted that we pretty much have passed the bottom there is no way in the world we're going back there because the Fed Reserve is just pumping money into this market. They're just printing bills, unlimited amount of money they want. They're not going to let people's retirement accounts go to go to the go to the floor. It's not happening. They're just gonna pump more money every single week and keep the markets up. So let's face it, the bottom is long gone. Okay, you're never going to see the bottom again until the next market crash, which probably will be in the next ten to twenty years. So. If you're thinking this market will ever go back to the bottom that was in March, you, you're laughing at yourself. I'm being straightforward with you. Do not think it's going to happen, especially with all these news about the Gilead saying the disease, we have some kind of cure for it. Then Trump saying we're opening up some states because they're doing well. So make sure you, you know what you're doing because I'm telling you the bottom has passed. You need to accept that fact that you missed that period. I was lucky and fortunate that I've been consistently investing. I didn't really care whether the market was going down or up. I consistently put my money in there no matter how much it went down because I'm a long-term investor and I highly suggest you should be as well. Short-term is not usually the best case scenario. Long-term is always the best case scenario. Anyways, this is just what I believe in. I believe we passed the bottom. You may not believe it. You may believe something else. Make sure to always do your research. Make sure you do what's best for you. Make your own best decision. I really hope you don't miss this bottom because if you miss this bottom, you already missed the last bottom. Now you're about to miss the next bottom. And then again, the next bottom, and you're never going to invest. If you're really planning on putting your money into the market, just start right away. Start in small increments and build your way up. Build your portfolio in small amounts. Don't pump all your money at once because that's pretty risky. It's like say, it's like how they say, don't put all your money in one basket, right? So don't pump all your money into the market right away because there could be a little bit more room for it to go to the bottom. But I highly think we passed the bottom in March. We might go a little bit lower, maybe halfway it was in March, because April is already really high. There's no way it should be high, and a lot of companies are going to start announcing their earnings, their quarterly earnings, their quarterly second earnings, and I promise you it's going to be low, and it's going to make the market go down, and then even their third quarterly earnings are going to be announcing, that's going to be bad too. So the quarterly second and third earnings will be bad, market companies will dive down okay so make sure you do your research on the company you're about to invest in because as soon as they're about to announce their earnings and you already bought at the wrong time you just lost a lot of money because it's gonna go down i guarantee you that there's no way any company that's under producing it's gonna go up it just wouldn't make logical sense it has never done that even in a bullish market and especially now in a bear market there's no way some company announces negative losses and earnings, they're gonna go up. No way, everyone's gonna freak out and be like, sell, 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 no, don't buy. 
okay so make sure you do your research before you buy any company so let's dive into these stocks that i think are very undervalued and they are going to skyward skyrocket upwards and they're going to make you and me a millionaire in the future with that said make sure to smash that like button destroy the like button right now just give it a little tap for the youtube algorithm because it really helps my video tremendously so please make sure to hit that like button right now and let us begin with stock option number one in one of my last videos i did talk about this first company that i'm going to be talking about and is none other than the boeing company so if you want to check out that last video the link is going to pop up right here you can just click it and check out that video on what what i said about the boeing company i'm going to be saying a little bit of the same thing here but i didn't go as in depth as i did last time about boeing so if you want to check that out click the link above and make sure to look at it and smash that like button over there too so with that said let's begin about the boeing company so if you don't know boeing is one of those big megatonic aviation production companies in the u.s they make airplanes for airlines they make drones for the united states military helicopters for the military missile defense systems other weapons they also are part of space travel for the iss which is the international space station they also have satellites they make commercial planes like the 737 max which unfortunately had a huge accident two of the planes crashed so that had a huge effect on the company last year they also make the 777 plane and so much more they're one of the biggest competitors to the company called lockheed l-o-k-h-e-e-d lockheed check that company out as well which is another huge corporation mark company that makes also missile defense systems and other plane and technology as well anyways right now the airline industry has taken a huge megatonic hit and they have been pretty much canceling all their orders from Boeing and that's causing the value of this company to drop like it's hot all right but eventually the market will recover people will go back and buy tickets the airlines will continue ordering more planes from Boeing and Boeing company will skyward skyrocket sorry up backwards anyways however the president has announced that they will be opening up states as well so that may have some kind of effect on Boeing as well because they are going to be opening up the economy and have a lot more people back in the workforce in no time so anyway so Boeing has recently also stated that they will be opening up their plants in Pennsylvania so we can assume they'll be making a lot more planes and selling a lot more as well which pretty much means for you as an investor that their revenue will start moving up which will definitely cause the stock to move up as well so let's take a look at boeing's financials starting with their income statement so ever since the 737 max crashes those two planes uh, really hit the company pretty hard uh, it caused them to lose a ton of money because they have had a lot of lawsuits and their net income has been going down before they were easily making 10 billion as you can see in net revenue in 2018 and here comes in 2019 and then the 737 max crashes and they lost a ton of revenue okay just look at that a ton of revenue was lost here that's that's just the way it is you know uh let's also move on to their balance sheet now anyway so this is one of the best balance sheets that you will find out there but this disease has caused it to be one of one of the worst balance sheets out there at this time okay all right so anyways boeing still has 10 billion dollars in cash reserves okay so they do have 10 billion dollars but at the same time their debt has doubled from 3 billion to 7 billion dollars from from what, what it was in 2017 which was only 1 billion okay so let's move on to their cash flow now right now they are doing terrible okay just awful which which makes it makes perfect sense at a time like this because nobody's making money every company is down this stock is pretty much at at its lowest right now 
and they're pretty much right now at a negative 4.4 billion dollars in free cash flow they they are losing money they are not making money they are losing money instead of making any money and especially considering how every company has already started canceling a lot of their purchase orders for planes from boeing right now but don't worry boeing is way too important to the united states because they heavily rely on the mel on the on boeing's making planes for the military okay the the united states has to have the best military and boeing provides those planes for them okay so they, they have to be the best in the world so boeing is not going anywhere the military will support boeing for a very long time in fact the u.s had 60 billion dollars ready for them in the stimulus bill but boeing decided to refuse to get any of that they, they're like no way we're not taking what's offered on the table which is great news for you as an investor it's great news because you do not want boeing to be taking any money from the government right now because once the government takes any control of this company that's going to be bad news for investors why because this means once the government has control of the company there will be no more stock buyback options there will be no more dividend payouts and the stock will not grow to its full potential where it was uh, almost a year ago okay boeing is worth at least i'm telling this company's value is at least three to four hundred dollars per share okay right now it's at around 150 dollars but if you wait another year or two this company will be worth back in the 300 400 dollars per share okay and so it is one of the best times to buy boeing at under 150 bucks because it will recover within the next year or two all right anyway so let's move on to stock number two and this one has actually uh, been one of my favorite stocks to buy and own and trade. And I have been doing it literally for, for uh, at least a year or two. And I have made several thousand dollars with this company. I am constantly trading it and watching it move up and down and selling it as it goes up and then buying it again when it goes down. The stock that I am talking about is none other than Cellside, ticker symbol CVM. This is a pharmaceutical company that is leading the way to become the first company to create a drug for head and neck cancer. They have had a lot of ups and downs in the past few years, but now they will be only moving up again. Okay, I, I got lucky and bought a few thousand of shares of this stock when it was at 91 cents and now it's almost 12 bucks okay so i'm telling you i got extremely lucky when it was at 91 cents and it has been pumping up like crazy this this company is going to be going places they have finished all their drug trials all their research and all they're doing is waiting for results and they will be publishing results on may 15. Make sure to mark your calendar for that day because they will be publishing the results after market hours. And I, I can tell you this company has a huge risk, high risk, high reward opportunity here. Okay, try to not try to get this stock below 10 bucks if you want to trade it and sell it and and sell it at around 12 to 12.50. Get it under 10, sell it to, at 12 to 12.50 or be smart and hold it until May 15. And it's estimated that this stock will be worth around 25 to 50 bucks a share if the results come out very positive, which I'm pretty motivated. And from all the research I've been doing with this company for the past year or two, that they have been doing well in the results trial. So I'm telling you, this is a huge reward, huge risk option, but the it's not even that much of a risk because they have been doing very well. All right, so anyways, let's move on to their financials with their income statement. Obviously, obviously, they're not making any money because the drug was was in research and trial. They're doing their R&D, you know, like they, they completed it. So they're not spending any more money on their research and trial. But there is also no sell in revenue. So except there, there's going to be debt here. OK, only debt. Then you can see there's twenty one million dollars right here. Let's move on to their balance sheet, which which is also awful. 
awful. Obviously, for the same reason. No drug is being sold. No sales are going on. All right, let's move on to their cash flow, which is also negative. Why? Because they're just spending money on R&D. Okay, they're just spending on money on trials and errors and research and development. But now they're complete with that. There's no more research and development going on. They're just waiting for results for the trials that was done. It's completed. All right, so the, once this drug gets any FDA, FDA approval, they're going to make you bank, okay? You own a share of this stock, you'll be making bank, okay? Let's move on to their statistics. They're priced at $64.89. Look at this. $64.89 is what its targeted price is if the results go be positive because on May 15, it's going to explode, okay? So whoever bought and held from the 91 cents that I bought, I wish I would have been holding it until now. Uh, I would be up several thousand dollars, like $30,000 at least. I would have made a fortune just, just from holding it from 91 cents until it hit 16 bucks. So yeah, this stock was at $16 before this market crash, before this disease. So if you think it's not gonna go up there, I promise you it will. This is a huge risk, huge reward potential stock. And based on the results they've published in the past, it seems like this drug has been pretty effective. And the only reason they have been waiting has been because of the results. They, and the way it seems from what I've been reading is they have been waiting for patient death. If you know anything about drugs, you know the drug has to show some kind of improvement. And if patients are are living cancer-free and if they're surviving, that means they're, the drug is working, okay? So pretty much with this drug, they have to wait until patient death. And they had over 100 patients that they were using this drug and uh, and they haven't been dying why because it seems like the drug has been working in some way to help boost their immune system because what this is what the drug does it boosts the patient's immune system in order for the patient to be able to fight off the cancer which is targets the head and neck cancer and it must be working because why else would patients be surviving for such a long time? Because this drug, the trial was pretty much completed, I believe, around 2015. Okay, so it's been almost five years, all right? So this drug has been doing some wonders in order for these patients to be living for such a long time. So take advantage of this stock because it's going to be making you a fortune and it's going to be making me a fortune because I am 1,000% going to buy several thousand more shares. Anyways, these are the stocks that I'm eager to buy this week and I can't wait to make some serious mad money and I really hope you join me and make that mad money with me. I hope you guys take advantage of any of these other stocks out there and take, take them under consideration because pretty much stocks right now are on megatonic sales, okay? They are megatonic freaking sale. Take advantage of them. Don't be feared of the market. Instead, be greedy right now and get ready for becoming millionaires tomorrow, becoming the future millionaires of tomorrow, all right? So very soon you become tomorrow's millionaires. At the end of the day, pretty much every stock and any stock is right now on a mega sale. So buying anything right now and holding it long-term is usually a great thing to do. You will make a lot of money on it. So short-term, maybe it won't be great, but long-term, which is at least a year or two, you will come out megaly ahead, megaly, okay? I don't know if that's a word, but I'm using it. It's my word from now on. So if you ever heard of megaly before, you, hit it, you heard it here first. I really hope you guys take advantage of this because stocks this cheap does not come very often. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, at least for every recession that happens or depression we have. It's gonna be another, probably another 10 to 20 years before we see another mega market crash, another megaly market crash, I should say. Also, history has a tendency to repeat itself. It transfers money from one person to another. It makes one person poorer and another person richer. What side of the coin you want to be, you make that choice. You make that decision whether you want to stay poor or be even more poor or if you want to become rich or become even richer. So make sure you choose the best coin side for you because 
one little simple move can make a huge difference. Please take advantage of any opportunity you are given because right now it is a once in a lifetime opportunity to get stocks that are on mega lease sales. So let that person be you, the one who's going to become a millionaire, the one who's going to become financially free and independent and the one who's going to be avoiding this rat race of chasing and putting your time to make money instead of money working for you. You don't want to spend the rest of your life working for money because you have only a certain limit amount of time to be in this pleasurable world. Why not have money working for you instead and you using that time to do whatever you want. You don't want to be working until you're 65, 70 and you only have five to 10 years because the on average people live up to 75 years old and you don't want to be the one who only has five, 10 years left in retirement. You want to enjoy that money now. So make sure you use your money wisely and your money starts working for you rather than you working for money until you're 65, 70 and then you retire and you only have five, 10 years left of your life. You just threw away your whole life working for money. Let money work for you. As one of my favorite investors says, Warren Buffett, none other says, be greedy while others are fearful and be fearful while others are greedy. And right now, you all need to be as greedy as possible because the market is just down. You have to be greedy right now and buy as much as you can. And when it starts moving up, you need to be fearful. You need to get scared and sell because people are getting over greedy they're they're not fearful anymore they're like oh the market is up bye 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 and guess what happens you don't want to be at the tip at the tail because that's what the worst position to be at the tail of the of the market whoop it goes right back down be fearful at that point that's the point you need to sell and get out thanks again for watching my videos as always make sure to smash that like button destroy the like button please it really helps out with the youtube channel also, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so YouTube can alert you when my next video comes out. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know about anything you disagree with or agree with. Uh, leave a comment below what other companies you're going to be buying because I'm really interested. I really do a lot of research when someone says, oh, I'm buying this company and I might put it up in my next video because you might be a really intelligent investor and I need to put that stock market on my next video and let other people know about it also make sure to follow me on instagram i pretty much post there daily so if you want to be part of that make sure to add me there as well also if you want two free stocks from the stock market webull is giving out two free stocks one for just signing up to use their platform and the second one for making any amount in deposit it could be five dollars or ten dollars they'll give you a second stock worth up to one thousand four hundred dollars a second stock worth on one thousand four hundred dollars make sure to get that check the link in the description below for the link to get those two free stocks from webull also robin hood is giving out a free stock make sure to check the link in the description below for robin hood's free stock as well thanks again for watching my videos and until next time make money with mike